Hi everyone, my name is Michelle. Today, I will show you two ways you can join separate surfaces to form a skirt in ZBrush. One using mask and one using insert multi-mesh. We will start with masking the top of the skirt, then the bottom. And ZBrush will form the third using curved bridge brush. Let's begin. Press comma to open up the light box. Go under project, open up a female model that comes with ZBrush. We will use this female model to help us with forming the skirt. Then go under sub tool, click on append, click on cylinder 3D, click on cylinder sub tool layer to edit it. Press W to turn on gizmo and scale it down to fit the model just below the waistline. Now, increase the resolution of the cylinder so that our mask can be as smooth as possible. Turn on polyframe by pressing this button or Shift F. Go under Tool, Geometry, Dynamesh, turn off Blur and increase the resolution up to 800K. So that the pixels look smaller. Press F to fit to screen. If you use a lower resolution, for example 512, the squares will look bigger. We only need to see the parts just below the waist, where the waistband begins and just below the knees, where the skirt ends. Go under Subtool, click on a female model subtool layer to activate it. Control, shift, click and drag from the waist to the knees to isolate. Rotate the canvas so that you're viewing from the top. Press F to fit the waist to screen. Let's use method number one. I'm going to use method number two on the next video. So stay tuned and remember to subscribe. Press Control and select freehand stroke. Reduce the focus shift to negative 100 to get a sharp etched mask. Activate the cylinder subtool layer. Method number one uses mask pen to create the top of the skirt. Zoom in close enough so that it's easier to paint on a mask just beyond the skin. Press alternate to erase the painted mask. Rotate it if you can't see the edge of the skin. Ctrl W to polygroup it. Press F to fit to screen. Now let's do the bottom of the skirt. Rotate the canvas so that you are viewing from the bottom. Let's hide all the other surfaces so that we will only mask the bottom of the cylinder. Ctrl, Shift, Alternate, click and drag. Remember to use Select Rect for the brush selection and Rect as the stroke. Rotate to view from the bottom of the cylinder. There are three ways to do this. Method 1 is using lasso tool. Let's do that. Press Ctrl, change the stroke to lasso. Now, let's draw the soft curves of the skirt. Turn off perspective. We want to see it straight on. Slowly draw the curves with your pen like what I'm drawing now. Press alternate to erase using lasso. Then press Ctrl W to polygroup it. The next method is using radial symmetry. Go under transform, click on activate symmetry. By default, only X symmetry and mirror button is on. Click on R to use radial symmetry. Click on the number on radial count 
and type in 16. This number will create 16 numbers of whatever you draw on the axis you have chosen above, be it X, Y or Z. If you want to know which one to use, just test out each of them until you see one that fits. But if you want to dive deeper into understanding which plane you're looking at and which axis you're going to draw on, this is how I do it. You can turn on floor plane with this button or shift P. On floor plane, you can click on X axis to find out where it is. And your radial symmetry will divide whatever you draw on this surface or on this plane. If you click on Y axis, that is the plane your symmetry will be divided on. And similar for Z, Z axis, if you click on Z axis, both on active symmetry and on floor plane, ZBrush will divide 16 numbers of whatever you draw on Z plane. So in order to apply radial symmetry, you need to identify which plane you're looking straight on and then you click on that axis. For example, I'm looking at Z axis and my active symmetry I have Z axis on and I'll be able to draw 16 numbers on that plane. Let us switch back to method number 2 on how to mask the bottom of the skirt. Now we're going to use radial symmetry to mask the bottom of the skirt. With radial symmetry on Y axis and 16 radial count, press Ctrl to activate mask pen and on the stroke, select free hand stroke. Let's start masking using our free hand stroke. Press Ctrl again to activate mask, then change the stroke to circle. Draw the circle to cover the unmasked skirt area. Press Ctrl W again to polygroup it. Now there's a third way to do this using a pre-made mask. I'm selling soon on MitchTintin.com. Still working on the quality of the mask? Let's undo the steps we have done. Press Ctrl, go to Alpha, import a custom Alpha. Change the stroke to Rect with Square and Center On. Go to the center of the circle, click and drag to apply the custom mask. The parts that intersect with the skin can be adjusted later on. Or you can scale the polygons bigger later on before you bridge the two surfaces. Then Ctrl W. Let's unhide everything. Ctrl Shift Tap. Let's isolate the top and bottom of the skirt. Control shift tap on the unwanted parts, then tap again to reverse the visibility. You can watch my first few videos on masking if you want to understand more about using masks. Unhide all of the female model, then go back to cylinder layer, control shift tap on the unwanted parts. Then tap again to reverse the visibility. Ok now, let's delete hidden. Geometry, modify topology, delete hidden. Done. Those are the three ways you can mask the bottom of the skirt. Now we will smooth out the edges of the top and bottom polygons. Go on the tool, geometry, edge loop, groups loops, increase the polish, to 100. 
keep the loops at 4 and triangles on. Hit groups loops. Hit one more time to further smooth the edges. Zoom in and check. I have no idea why I didn't turn off the female model instead of hiding them. So let's turn it off now by clicking on the eye icon on the subtool layer. Let's turn on double so that we can see the bottom of the top surface. On second thought, let's flip both surfaces instead. When you look up from the bottom of the skirt, it should be see-through. Similar to when you look down from the top of the skirt, it should be transparent. So I will keep both surfaces empty when you look from the top and the bottom so that we can see through them. Go under Tool and under Display Properties, turn on Double so that we can view both surfaces. Now turn Double off and we can see the opaque surfaces of the top, top of the skirt facing outwards and the opaque surface of the bottom of the skirt facing outwards. And under Display Properties, click Flip once, we can flip both surfaces so that the transparent side faces outwards and opaque sides face inwards. And if you rotate to view from the top, you can only see the bottom surface. And then if you rotate to view from the bottom, you can only see the top surface. This is what we want. Now, to join them together, press B, C, 5. Shortcut for Brush, Curve, Bridge. Then, click on any one of the surfaces. Click on the center, then drag towards the edge. When you reach the edge, press Shift. It will form a curved line around the edges. Then, let go of the pen. Do the same for the next surface. Click at the center, drag towards the edge, press Shift, red highlight visible, let go. Next, all you have to do is wait for ZBrush to do the magic. It will form a third surface of the skirt automatically using Curve Bridge Brush. Rotate around to view it from the top and bottom. There could be another problem you might encounter if your computer is too slow. You can reduce the polygon count before you bridge the two surfaces together. Just go under Geometry, Zero Measure, Turn off Adapt, Reduce Adaptive Size to 0. Let's undo. We are now going to reduce the number of squares we see here. Click Z Remesh with the settings mentioned and watch the polygon counts drop in half. If you can't join them, you can try groups looping them before you, you bridge them using BC5. Now with lesser polygon counts, it should be faster in bridging. Let's try smoothing them. Turn off Polyframe, Shift F. Go under Tools, Deformation. Polish, slide it to 50%. You may have to do it a couple of times until you're happy with it. If you enjoyed this video, please click on like and subscribe and thanks in advance. I'll see you in the next video. Adios!